anti-graft court Sandigan Bayan orders the Bureau of Immigration to prevent former National Police Chief Alan Purisima and Special Action Force Head Hetulio Napeñas from leaving the country. Purisima and Napeñas are facing criminal charges for their involvement in the botched 2015 Mamasapan operation that killed 67 people, including 44 elite cops. Purisima Napeñas and former President Benigno Aquino also face homicide complaints filed by families of slain SAF troopers. The complaint is under preliminary investigation by the Ombudsman. <music> Senator Panfilo Lasson says President Rodrigo Duterte's statements on the war on drugs emboldened the Philippine National Police to do, in his words, practically anything without thinking of accountability. Those pronouncements, I think, uh, were ill-advised no? because uh, the President was even, you know, uh, what do you call this? Blanche. Yeah, uh, waving Blanche, a red yeah. flag waving, in front of waving him. a uh, Art of Blanche authority, yes. uh, and he was even assuring the police officers concerned yes. that he uh, was ready to pardon them. Uh, pro forma uh, pardon uh, uh, forms uh, that uh, he was ready to sign. He even went to, the, to that extent. That would involve them the police to just do their thing, you know, without any, uh, without thinking of any accountability. Duterte earlier ordered the PNP to stop the war on drugs after several cops were implicated in the kidnapping and killing of a South Korean businessman inside the National Police Headquarters in Camp Krame. Laxon heads the Senate committee probing a South Korean's murder. He also led a Senate probe into the killing of Albuera Mayor Orlando Espinosa Sr. inside his jail cell last year. The United States is keeping the Communist Party of the Philippines and its armed wing, the New People's Army, in its list of terrorists despite a request from the Philippine government. The CPP and NPA have been in the U.S. list of foreign terrorist organizations since August 2002 upon the request of the Arroyo administration. The U.S. State Department says the CPP and NPA continues to meet the criteria. The Philippine government wants the CPP and NPA delisted so CPP founder Jose Maria Sison can meet with Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte in a neutral Asian country. Sison has lived in political asylum in the Netherlands for three decades. The International Criminal Police Organization, or Interpol, can arrest Sison anywhere outside their European Union because the CPP and NPA is in the U.S. list. <laughs>